Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys three easy simple retakes you can use for players who are on controller. I personally prefer doing this on controller because of the movement advantage. These are actually really easy to master and with a few minutes of practicing you should be able to use this in creative matches with ease. I'm going to be showing you guys the retake in slow-mo and then after that I'm going to be showing it in full speed. This is done so that you can see what the retake actually looks like and what the retake is. I'm going to try and explain it, but it is really easy to do, and at this point, you can probably see how it's done with ease. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, I'm going to show you guys the first retake. It's actually really simple, and yeah, it's one of the easiest, if not the easiest out of the three. So, it's, you just want to do this. And yeah, that's pretty much the retake. Now, you can do whatever you want after the retake, but the retake itself is really easy, and uh, honestly, you can do whatever you want after it. So if you're wondering how to do this retake, what you want to do is once you're ramping up, you want to place kind of like two walls right here, place a stair, and once you look up to place the stair, place a cone as well, and then place the stair here on the left when you want to side jump, and then once you side jump, you want to place these two walls kind of together, and then place your floor here and your stair here, Kind of just a way to catch yourself and then you want to edit the floor and then catch yourself again with this simple stair jump and then place the floor and the stair again and then edit through and then follow it up with whatever you want like 90s or 180 or whatever you want once again so yeah it's a pretty easy retake here's a slow-mo if you want to kind of use it as a guide Now for the second retake, this one's pretty easy as well, however, I mean, it does take some time, especially when you're a newer player, and uh, yeah, it should look like this. And yeah, that's pretty much the retake, you could follow it up with whatever you want, but usually you, you should be able to get high ground from your opponent after doing the initial retake. Instead of doing a triple edit, because I know a lot of people can't do that yet, you want to edit this cone, and then as soon as you edit the cone, you place the two walls in front of it, just so the cone doesn't break. I mean, if the, if the cone breaks, then you're kind of scuffed because you're going to get shot. So you got to make sure this cone is right here to make sure you're protected and then edit through the wall. So after you do this, you want to kind of catch yourself while also placing a cone right on top of it uh, and a stair as well. I forgot to mention that. You want to place the stair first before the cone. And then once you do that, you want to ramp flip like this and then edit through the cone. Now, usually you want to do... Uh, a wall here but sometimes you don't really need to do that especially when you're not facing a good player they probably won't put the wall there but just in case they they do you want to practice you know of course this wall here and uh yeah it's pretty easy it's a pretty easy motion you can pretty much do it every single time once you get the hang of it and uh yeah that's it for the second retake uh, here's another slow-mo if you find that as a guide For the third and final retake, I think it is definitely one of the hardest out of the three, if not the hardest. However, I think it is slightly easier than the second retake, but that's up to you and that's up to how well you can do a double edit. Anyway, it looks like this. And yeah, it's pretty easy. Now, after you do this, this kind of thing, you want to follow it up with whatever you want. Now, you can usually do a 90 here or maybe even a 180 or whatever you want. You can go for an edit course. So, a slower, more in-depth guide for this free take. You want to do a double edit. It has to be double tiles or else the stair won't place. So, you want to place a stair and then catch yourself again with a stair and a floor. And then edit through the floor. And as soon as you edit through the floor, you want to place a wall just to prevent your opponent from blocking you. Once you place the wall, you want to turn and then do the mo the circular motion again except you don't need to place a cone because you should this stair should be enough to protect you from any gunshots and after that you can follow it up with a double edit or whatever you want a song as you do the initial retake you should be able to retain high ground to any opponent in a real game here's a slow-mo for people who find that easier That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Turn on post notifications so you are notified of you know, videos like these. And uh, yeah, comment down below some suggestions. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.